In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's lookup functions. There are more um, than shown here, but I'm just going to primarily show you the VLOOKUP, the MATCH, INDEX, and OFFSET functions in Excel. The HLOOKUP is very similar to the VLOOKUP, so I'm not really going to go over that. VLOOKUP searches through the left column of an array for a match, then extracts uh, from an index column, so I'll show you that. The match does not extract a value, but it returns a relative location of a value in a lookup vector. Index, given an array, and given the row number and column number, you can extract that row and column element from that array. And the offset function will start with a base cell, and then it offsets a certain number of rows and columns, and then you can either output a single cell or a range. So let's go ahead and start with the VLOOKUP. What we want to do is we want the user to be able to type in the bed materials, just some information on um, some different materials used in a, a type of reactor. So we want to be able to type in the bed material, and we want it to automatically output the bulk density of that, the percent void, and the shape factor. It's not too hard for the user just to look through here for those values, but what if this table was really big, it, uh, you know, maybe thousands of rows and dozens of columns, then we'd want to somehow, somewhere, make it readily available, uh, easy to use, such that the user can just type in stuff and we'll output the result. So to do this, we're going to use the VLOOKUP function. It searches through the leftmost column and then outputs the row that it finds the item in. So let's go ahead and do an example here. I'm, I'm going to use rice as my material, and again, what I'm looking for is in the leftmost column of an array. I've already named this array material table up here. So I'm going to type in VLOOKUP, and now we need the lookup values. Then the table array that we're looking through is that material table, so I'm just going to highlight that, or you could type in material table. We are then we wanting to output, so it's going to find rice in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th row. Bulk density is what we're trying to find. Bulk density is found in the third column of our table, so I'm going to do a 3. Now there's a last argument here which I would recommend using false because it basically stipulates that it's you want it to find a exact match and we end up with the bulk density of rice is 56.47 which is here in cell C9. We can do the same for the other two so percent void VLOOKUP of rice I'm looking through my table array here now percent void is found in the fourth column of that table and then for an exact match, I can do false. Real quick, let me show you what happens if I don't use an exact match. So I'm going to change this argument, this last argument, to true. So what happens if I misspell this? Maybe I do R-I-B-E instead of rice. You notice in percent void, I put a false there, which requires an exact match. So it's giving us an N-A, which is a lot of times what you want. You want it to sort of give you a warning. But the bulk density does not correspond to the rice. It, it actually goes up one. So if you have true, it's an approximate match. If you've got things organized in ascending order or alphabetical order, it actually will go through until it finds a word that's just greater than, and greater than rice is actually greater than ribe. So it'll actually back up one and then spit out that result. But a lot of times, most times, you just want an exact match. So I'm going to set this back to false. I'm also going to then do the shape factor, which would be VLOOKUP of rice. Looking through our material array, shape factor is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I want to require an exact match. So that's how you can just kind of summarize. And then I could put in wheat here, and it just automatically updates. So that's the VLOOKUP function. It's very useful. The only downside is it needs to, you're looking up whatever's in the leftmost column. And a lot of times, for example, maybe you want to spit out what's the percent void that corresponds to a shape factor of 1.07. Using the VLOOKUP, it's a little bit uh, more difficult. 